Hello, Billy. This is Bevan Wave, and uh, today we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, and uh, we also take uh, a quick look at um, ETH and Solana, as I want to show you something that correlates to Bitcoin. And uh, before I get started, my apologies uh, if I haven't posted lately, uh, but I was pretty busy with um, school. Um, I have, I do have good news on the school side, but uh, I'll keep my mouth shut until um, the it actually happens. So. Bitcoin. So as usual, let's start with daily. Just briefly overgo what are some of the preferred counts for the let's say middle terms. So understanding, I am calling this low in place. As usual, if you want to take a look at what I have um, in terms of uh, available options on the long term counts, I will link you to the video on the which will appear on the top right of the screen right now as I'm talking. Uh, but that being said, I am going to trade this as a bottom in place. And um, at this point, what it looks like is we could be into some sort of an wave B, which could, you know, we could be in some sort of up, down, up, down. That is possible. Um, or else um, wave B can be in place, which I kind of struggle to believe, but it's possible. We could also have a, a case for wave A here, A, B, and C. A bit ugly though, but it could work. And now downside into wave C, and then s still, you know, pretty much the same implication downside and then up. That's possible, or else. Um, so that, that would be the more bearish scenario. If we focus on the bull, oh, by the way, let's take a look at volume. Okay, so volume isn't does support the bearish case. As you can see here, we moved lower here. That was Tuesday, 27th, with increased volume. That is a bearish sign. Um, so, yeah, but at, you know, at the end of the day, we also moved up here. With increased volume, so it as of right now, it being bullish, it's it's a bit dangerous, uh, but being bearish is uh, um, I don't want to say it's too early, but uh, you know it, it it looks like it's correcting, and when it's correcting, you don't know which corrections you're gonna get until you get it. So it you know been short on the let's say. Trying to swing trade this to the downside, it could always be risky, just like by now, it could all, always be a, a bit too early. So you can say, Barry, well, why the hell are we even taking a look at it? Well, I'm just trying to do my, you know, give you the best regional, um, you know, counts that I can uh, with the information that I have available. If I knew the future, uh, none of us would be here. Now, that being said, that's not a possibility, which is something we're going to take a look at. Uh, a wait for in place. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, A, B, C, and now we're going higher. Now, um, I've seen, and there's different ways to count this way three. I have seen some people have it here. I don't like that. Um, just like there's different ways to count this way one, you can also count it as a one here. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Some sort of corrective pattern. And then upside, that's also possible. Uh, but the main takeaway is we could be in wave four completed. The good thing about this is, as you can see here, we have equality of C against A, which is a very common target that has been reached and we are reacted from it. And as you can see, what's pretty interesting also is we are we are finding support of of fifty eight thousand, which is point six one eight. C against A. Quite interesting. Now, as I've said many times, you can fact check me on that. A very important thing is that we need to find support on top of 65,000 to turn bullish. If you pay attention, we never really successfully found support on top of 65,000. What do I mean by that? You could argue we found support here, but then we failed. 
we found support here, but then we failed. Here we failed. We need to break through it, successfully retest it, and then take off. At that point, you can be more bullish with a higher level of conviction. As I've said this for months, as long as 65,000 does not provide clear support, we cannot be bullish. It's too early. Uh, now, it's easy to be bullish after we are at 80,000. I understand that. Um, but um, that, that's a very important thing we need to look out for. So that's um, that's going to be the preferred bullish count, uh, which also kind of correlates with the indices. Uh, and uh, let's see if I have something else to show you. Oh, yeah, that's another way to look at it uh, for wave four. One, two, one, two, three, four. Now, what I don't like about this is the subdivision within wave three. Four and two are pretty much both uh, sharp, which doesn't really, you know, it wouldn't fit uh, alternation. However, intermediate two and intermediate four, one is sharp, one is more sideways, so that makes sense. But this is not really my preferred count when it comes to look for further upside. So I'm going to stick to this and I'm going to take you finally to the intraday. So straight into the one hour chart. So if we want to be bullish and with this, let's call it longer term counts, we are. One way to count this, there's multiple ways obviously to count this. Otherwise, I wouldn't be a good illustration if I couldn't come up with uh, multiple counts. So, OK, so that's bearish. Wait, I need to. My apologies. OK, so that's one way to look at it. And it kind of I kind of like this because of as I was saying at the beginning of the yeah, at the beginning of the video, this could easily be ABC. Sorry about that. Um, if you look at if we look at ETH and Solana, which we're going to do in just a minute, they look a lot like this count. What they haven't done is. OK. What they haven't done is they haven't taken out this high. So three down. Um, I think I had it as double X Y because of this wave A. Um, now I'm going to be honest. I would need to go look up now once again at the theory for double X Y's, which obviously we're not. We know they're you know post Elliot. Um, uh, they're picture practitioners. Um, let's call them invention. Invention. So that. Um, I want you to go back up. I don't know if you can have some sort of a flat in terms of a complex direction. I think you might, uh, but nevertheless, um, this looks like three wave moves. But I, I also, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Elliot used to, you know, he used to say ABC is could also be three, three, three. I don't, I'm, yeah, never mind. Um, for some particular cases, and that's when um, complex corrections were born. Uh, but that's not the point. The point is, this looks like three down. If you don't see three, then I don't know. You might either be blind or stupid. But I, I mean, how would you count this as a five wave move? It looks like three, three, and three. That's what I see. Uh, I could be wrong, but that's what I see. Now, here, um, you could count it with uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Well, it could be something like a hey, this, and let's do this, okay? Um, and here, I don't. I'm not gonna label it. Otherwise, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five of that five. That's one way to look at it. Now, this looks interesting. Uh, why? Well, so first, first, let's go into the 10 minutes. Okay, so does this look like a three, a five wave move? No. So, what it means is that we may get uh, further downside. This does not look impulsive to me. It looks pretty much corrective. 
So we might get that. Don't be surprised if we do. Um, yeah, that would look for one more low, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised, but I th if this area holds so around uh, 58, 50, so I would look between anywhere between 58,000 to 56.5 K because those are the important numbers, which would be this area. So as you can see, they're not all important numbers. You can, you can, you can see what I'm saying is actually true um, to hold. And at that point, we might look for upside. So that's one way to look at it. Um, and uh, where did I put it there? OK. Uh, another way to look at it uh, could be this. Truncated fifth, which I'm not a big fan of truncated fifths, uh, as they are extremely rare. You m many times are better off with a complex than rather than a truncated fifth. But I guess it's possible. It's just another way I think it's to count this wave up into wave one. Um, but uh, yeah, that's one other way to look at it. And obviously, uh, again, three, three, and five. So let me just label it for you. A, B, and C, so a similar count. And this would go here. So again, upside. Okay, and this would be some sort of, if we go back, so we raised the possibility that we have a body in place here, and we are looking for further downside. Then at that point, you know, we could be into some, um, yeah, that's what, that was the problem though. Can you count this as a five wave move? One, two. It's not easy to count it as a five wave move, is it? This wave C. One, two, uh, one, two, yeah, I don't really see a five wave move, to be honest. We, we could be better off like this, to be honest. Uh, let me show you. Yeah. I think, so I'm going to raise this, oh should I, uh, yeah, I did it once, I can do it twice, um, yeah, so what I see to be fair is, once again this, so it would basically mean we could once again be going higher, okay, so, okay, so I can, I can see this though. I can see some sort of a triangle. Um, so one way to look at it is this, ABC. Let me label it ABC. Um, so could this be completed? Yes. Do I think it's completed? No. Does the market care about what I think? Absolutely no. Uh, but that's my opinion. Uh, it, it, and because of you know experience, so on and so forth, it does look like this wave B, this particular wave B could be completed. Um, so my best guess is either this happening. Sorry. So it would same implications as the bullish count, but then at that point we would fall back lower. So something like this, or and I'm gonna label it. I'm gonna keep it like that some sort of a triangle. So A, B, uh, yeah, very ugly triangle. Not gonna lie. Maybe we would be better off like this. A, B, C, into minor A, and then something like this. Does it look nice? No. Uh, do I like it? Not really. I prefer the other scenario, which I showed you this, but for the sake of labeling it, I'm just going to leave it there. So that's another way to look at it. So to be if, at this point though, could we be into some sort of, of a triangle into wave B and then down? Yes, that's also possible. Let's not discount that possibility. Um, so in a nutshell, before sum, summing up everything, I think I went over a few things. Um, Oh, before we do, I'm just going to just 30 seconds to show you ETH. As you can see here on ETH, uh, it does look like you could get uh, five ways up here. 
easily. And kind of this is a five wave move. And then three down, 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 up. You could count that underneath. And on Solana, it's even better. Let me show you. This looks like a three wave move. If you don't see three, once again, I think you're evil blinders to you, but no offense. Uh, but I see three. Uh, now that, you know, it could do this, it could do this, and then go down lower. That's possible, but I see three. And three waves a trend don't make. Now, this, you know, what I was saying on, on Bitcoin, we broke this high. Here on Solana, we didn't, which makes it, you know, looks better in terms of three down and upside. That's why I do like the bullish counter on Bitcoin. Uh, now, back here on Bitcoin, summing up, what could we expect? Well, we could expect anything because that's market. What I would expect is either, um, you know, potentially one more leg higher and then complete the correction, potentially some sort of a triangle here in wave B and then downside and then upside. Or wave B can be in place here at the 65K mark. We do go down and then we go up. That's what I would expect in terms of bullish. Sorry, bearish. If I want to be bullish, which I am more bullish than bearish, then what I expect is we have a bottom in place and we could be into wave. We could have done wave one and two. So minor wave one, minor wave two, we could be moving higher within this wave five. The next logical target would be 80,000. Once again, if you want to be bullish, I would strongly look for 65,000 as support. That's your additional confidence. Until then, it's always a risk. That being said, as usual, any comments, let me know down below. If you enjoyed the content, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe and leave a like. And if you want to talk more about this, I have a Discord. It's completely free. The link is down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.